Chair recognizes Re Chairman Nimmer to speak to two invite resolutions. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the House, and those in attendance in the gallery. Um, it is an honor for me to step up here this morning and, and pay recognition to such a great and honorable day at the st state capitol. Uh, not only do we get a Massey Ferguson tractor on our desk, a grilled peanut butter sandwich in the rotunda, but everyone here gets the privilege of meeting some outstanding Georgians from my district. Uh, this is the fourth time that I've had the privilege of introducing the Pierce County competition cheer team as being state title holders in this great state. Uh, House, if you will, please stand and help me welcome the, the cheerleading team from Pierce County High School, many of them seated up in the gallery, if you will make them welcome. These girls showed an uh, exceptional work ethic and determination this year to uh, go in through an undefeated season, to clinch a region title, and go on to Columbus to clinch a state title this year. And they are led by no doubt, you've heard me say this before, the, hear me for sure in this house this morning, the greatest coach in the history of the entire state of Georgia. That is my wife. Amy, raise your hand. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the speaker holds the gavel at this house, but I can tell you who holds it at my house. <laughs> but uh, I want to introduce to you three of the four seniors on the team we've got with us on the floor today, Abigail Walker, Kellyanne Howard, and Brittany Mayhew. And Miss Abigail is going to come up and say a few words. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen of the House, and Mr. Tad for allowing us the awesome privilege of coming here today and seeing the Capitol. Winning a state championship is one of the toughest and most re rewarding things any athlete can have. Um, this program has been able to experience four state titles in the past five years, and we seniors have been, ex been able to be fortunate enough to experience three of those. None of this would have been possible without our amazing coach, Ms. Amy Nimmer, like Mr. Chad said. And we hope that we are able to carry all of the hard work and dedication that we've learned through this sport with us through our lives. Um, once again, thank you for having us today, and we've enjoyed it. So thank you. Let's go ahead and get the other one and then do all right, thank you uh, again, Mr. Speaker. He told me I get two for the price of one today, and I, I get the privilege again uh, from my district, 178, my home county, Pierce County, uh, to introduce to you a young man that I mentioned from this well several weeks ago, Mr. Todd Carter, who is a freshman at Pierce County High School, and Todd is here to my right, to your left, joined by his coach, Brandon Jernigan, who is the wrestling coach at Pierce County High School and also our athletic director. Todd's parents, Michael and Jamie, and younger brother Kev are seated up in the gallery. If you will, stand up and be welcome to the Georgia House. Now, I've got a lot of stories about Todd's parents that I'll share with some of you later because I grew up with them, but today is to recognize and honor Todd's hard work and his accomplishments. As a middle school wrestler, he went undefeated in his entire career, came up into the freshman ranks and uh, competed on the varsity level, and went on in the 117-pound weight class to clinch a state title. Uh, Todd, we're just exceptionally proud of you, son, and proud of the example you set for Pierce County, and we want to commend you today on your accomplishments. And his coach, Brandon Jernigan, is going to step up and make one or two remarks. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the House, uh, Representative Chad Nimmer and my, gift, my friend Chad Nimmer, uh, thank you for having us. Uh, we'd like to uh, brag a little on Todd. Todd was 56 and 0 in middle school career. Uh, as a freshman, uh, stepped into the varsity lineup, uh, was 40 and 5, uh, and honestly was not even expected to be able to wrestle uh, this year or the uh, remainder of his career due to an injury. Uh, but him nor his parents would have no word of that. Uh, got second opinions and was uh, released. Um, 
uh, mid-December and still wrestled 45 matches, uh, only losing five of those. Um, with with the back issue so needless to say as a freshman only our second state champion in school history uh, so we've got three more years of them so very proud to have them and thank you again for having us